essentially hurricane season puts the whole eastern seaboard on high alert, right? So what actions are available for businesses on a uh, when a large scale regional disaster plays havoc? You mentioned uh, earthquakes out there. Uh, you know, what happens uh, when it wreaks havoc on the landscape of the infrastructure? What can a business do to be ready for that? Welcome to Maximize Business Value Podsnack, a bite-sized version of the Maximize Business Value Podcast, because sometimes you just don't have time for a full podcast meal. Well, the problem, of course, when you have something like that happens is, is the complexity of the situation grows exponentially because there's so much stress on the system. You've got flooded roads, you have power loss, you have uh, people that, you know, they're displaced, um, the roads get blocked. So, so again, the best thing to do for companies, because every, everyone's situation is a little different, is run a simulation, spend an hour, spend a, spend a couple hours, and go into the concept that says, okay, let's, let's play this out. Uh, hurricane is a great example. Hurricanes, fortunately, we have the foresight of seeing that they're coming. Now, obviously, it's not 100% accurate, but usually within 72 hours, you have a pretty good idea if it's going to hit your way or get close enough, you need to take action. Some companies, especially companies that can afford it, they will actually find another location prearranged in another state where they can drive to or fly to and have their employees, the critical employees working from those locations. So, so again, you know, play it out. Who are your critical employees? What are your critical processes? If the environment is going to be such that I need to evacuate, where should we go? Do we have contracts set up? I mean, one thing that companies can do, and you don't have to be a big company to do this, you find a, a location. So if you're in Houston or Dallas, maybe you want to go up to Louisiana or Oklahoma, find a couple of hotels, call the hotels and say, you know what, I'd like to be able to set a contract with you in place that I can activate in a certain uh, advance notice and, and block a, sec a section of rooms. And, and they'll be happy to do that. They will be happy to set something up for you. Now, it may not be blocked the hotel. That could get kind of expensive. But, you know, things like that that you can think of in advance are extremely helpful. Um, if you have opportunity to migrate work to certain locations, that's also important. Um, there's also an interesting um, element that the Department of Homeland Security has implemented. It's the Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency, CISA, that we've all been hearing a lot about with the Solar Winds hack. Right in the election, of course. But CISA has put in something called the um, wireless priority system. And you, if you're a business, you can register in advance to be part of this wireless priority system. And I think there's some certain, um, certain qualifications around it, so not every business can do it. But effectively, what this allows you to do, whether it's wireless or uh, a landline, you know, when you make a phone call and it's like all circuits are busy, well, this gives you the capability to punch in a special code and you get priority access for your mobile device or your landline device. Oh, no kidding. Yes. So it, again, so there's, there's things like that that are available to you if you plan for them. Yeah. Well, and that's it. The advanced planning. I, I love the run a simulation. That's uh, even companies that have great uh, disaster recovery plans don't don't do a simulation uh, to find out kind of where the failures are. Mm -mm, good. Are you hungry for more? Check out our next pod snack, or you can enjoy the value size maximize business value podcast wherever you found this podcast.